Hey everybody, DCT here. The angle's not very good, the lighting's not very good, nothing's very good right now. I know. Get off my back about it. But, I've been talking to, you know, Justin Marshall Alert some more. And, um, I just decided to look him up, because why not? Uh, I want to see what I can find on him, see if there's any breaking news, and what do you know? One of our linebackers gets injured. His name is Leighton Van Der Esch, first round draft pick. And uh, Justin March Lillard is filling in for him. He's filling in, you know, linebacker spot. And this was basically his first time running with the first team defense. And yes, this is just OTAs, but I read a thing saying that he has had himself a day running with the first team defense. He recovered a Dak Prescott fumble in the red zone and broke up a goal line pass to get a big stop for the defense. He's only 24 years old. He hasn't been with every team very long. Dallas is the longest he's been with the team, I believe. If that, if not, it's Kansas City. And he hasn't gotten much chemistry with anybody. And this year, I think he's going to have a breakout year. I don't think, uh, I think he's going to be, Leighton Van Der Ash is going to be his backup. I think Justin Martillard is going to have a very good shot at taking over at the middle linebacker. Because, you know, you got Jan Smith outside and you got Sean Lee outside. So, I think he's going to end up taking over. I saw some film. Hey, how you doing? I saw some film of him when he was on Kansas City. You know, he's been breaking up passes there. Um, I think he has like three pass deflections at Kansas City and 24 solo tackles, Madden 19. Can't wait for it to come out. It's going to be it's going to be a good game. TO made the Hall of Fame cover, but Terrell Owens, he's also not going to, you know, the um Hall of Fame induction, which is sad, you know. I I, I wonder what team though he's going to go in under. If is he going to go in under Dallas, San Fran, Philly, what team? i um, just kind of curious to see about that, but we signed Justin March Lillard. He's 24 years old. Uh, in linebacker, as I've said. Sorry about this. Hold up. You know, including him, he hasn't really had that breakout, breakout year because he's been on, like, four different teams in four months. He's been on the Chiefs, the... Seahawks, the Dolphins, and the Cowboys. He was on four months. We signed him in September. And ever since then, we haven't heard much about him. I think because he stayed with the Cowboys for so long, uh, not very long, but, you know, it's going to be about a year. And I think he's got some chemistry. Can I play Madden? I can. Uh, I have Madden 18, Madden 17, and 25, which, you know, the cool thing about 25 is, you know, you get to um, have Emmett Smith, Troy Aikman, Joe Montana, Barry Sanders, all these legendary guys on your team, or your coach, you know, Barry, uh, sorry about that, uh, you got John Madden, I believe, uh, Gruden, I believe, is in there. I know all these old coaches are in there. I know someone from freaking, oh, jeez, uh, Washington is in there, and, you know. But I think uh, Justin Marshall, uh, he hasn't really stepped up much because, well, he hasn't been on a team all the time. I think being on Dallas, he's going to step up. I think having Chris Richard. Is, he, he talked a little bit about Chris Richard to me. And, um, you know, <laughs> he said, let me actually pull up my interview with him. Because, you know, I did an interview with him. Go Cowboys, that's right. You know, someone's trying to pass off it to me that the Cowboys aren't very good. Well, I asked him how, because they're te not very good. Well, how are they not very good? Because they're not good. They're the Cowboys. Well, what does that mean? How how does how does that make them not good? Because they're the Cowboys. 
sure. Say what you want, but that doesn't really prove to me that you know much about the Cowboys. If you want to try and start a debate with me, go ahead. Go ahead. It's fine. I'll debate you. I'll actually bring you on the show and debate me on the show live. But you need to have a reason for saying something. Dak's not good. All right. Give me a reason why he's not very good. Tony Romo is better than Dak. Give me a reason. Dallas Cowboys are the best. Well, um, there's not much to argue with that. Give me a reason, though. Dallas Cowboys are trash. Give me a reason. How? How are they bad? 9-7? That's not that bad. Uh, we have a pretty good squad, so I, I don't think we're trash. Um, let's see. Chris Richard. He said, Chris Richard is exactly what this team needs. He was the defensive coordinator when I had a brief stop in Seattle last season. And what I noticed was that he is a man of faith first. He's a great person. Someone who truly, you know, he, just looking back on this, it just makes me really think that was Chris, Chris Richard the thing that we need? I think it is. He says that he'll really help the G defense gel together. He's confident, smart, very competitive, fun, great with players, a great players coach, and most importantly, he expects to win right now. Just hearing those words from a actual player on the team, a defense player on the team, you know, giving me the inside scoop. Just saying that what he actually will do. Chris Richard, makes, that makes me think, okay, so secondary was pretty good last year. Not top 10. But that's just going to get the team a little bit better. That, just that, getting the secondary better. All right, our linebackers. We upgraded on linebackers, I, I believe. Um, Jalen Smith is going to be healthy. Justin is going to be in the game more. Sean Lee, hopefully, potentially help, healthy because we got a new strength and conditioning coach. Uh, Leighton Van Der Esch, hopefully a swap out with uh, Justin a little bit, you know. But uh, Dak is a good quarterback. Yeah, yeah, he is. Um, for him to have a slump isn't really true. I mean, for everything he's lost, he's still managed to carry the team to 9-7. and seven. And also, not having any good receivers, that's pretty good. Do you got the Cowboys win the NFC East? I do. Uh, let me go through why I say that. Well, who's our toughest opponent? Philly. Philly. But we have, let's see, one week, two weeks. Hmm. That makes a big difference right there. Three weeks. Okay. That makes a really big difference. Four, five week. Oh, okay. We're not just talking about one week. Five weeks. That's a lot. Because they're getting beat up. They're not doing great. Great. And we're resting. Tyron Smith has an extra five weeks. Sean Lee, five extra weeks. Really? Well then, that works pretty. That works out pretty good. Uh, that's why I have us to win, because the Redskins aren't a threat. The Giants aren't really a threat, but, you know, that's just my opinion. The Giants, yeah, they're going to be better this year. I don't see them being, though, that the team to beat quite yet. I think the Giants are going to come in uh, third, and then the Redskins, bottom of the basement. They are very good. They don't have many materials on their team. Their defense is battered down. Their offensive line isn't very good. Their receiver set, eh, that's okay. Their tight end, I'd say they're second best tight end in the NFC East. Uh, Dallas, I, well, you know, Dallas Goodert and uh, Zach Ertz is probably number one for Philly. Evan Ingram is probably number two, you know, but I haven't seen enough of him. I got the Cowboys going 12-4. and four. 
I think I could see that. All right, we have Carolina at Carolina. I don't see Carolina being good enough. Um, I think their defense is good, but I don't think they're very good. I don't think they're the uh, best team to beat right now. Yeah, I have that as a win. Then on to New York. So we're one, we're one and up. On to New York. Wow, it's in Dallas. That's going to be a win. Um, there's not really much of a debate. So two and up. Then we have. Let me check that because I want real. I really want to get all of this right. Um, you know that way I'm not mistaking anything. I know who we're playing, but I want to get the weeks in in correct order. You know, just just to be perfect. I'll have to look through everything to try and find that. It's kind of ironic considering me and one of my friends, we were just talking about the Cowboys schedule. All right, here it is. So we got the Panthers. It's at the Panthers. It's going to be a win. Um, I don't think Panthers are good enough. New York at Dallas. Why do you think Justin will have a breakout year? Well, basically because... Uh, of what I've been reading and watching, saying that he's ha he had a breakout day this today, running with the first team defense. You know, he recovered a Dak Prescott fumble in the red zone and broke up a pass on the goal line to stop the defense. And he's starting to get better with everything. I think he's just gonna be a little bit better. You know, he's getting his real. He's gonna really get his first shot this year on Dallas. Mainly because we don't have the linebacking depth we had that well. We do, but we don't. I think he's going to be better this year. I think compared to last year, he's going to be way better. I think I like Jalen Smith too. But uh, Jalen Smith, he's, I believe, left outside. And Sean Lee is right outside. And then we have Demain Wilson. I put him as uh, Jalen Smith's backup. Chris Covington, Sean Lee's backup. So those two spots are filled. They're pretty good. Um, now we have middle linebacker. We got Jalen Smith, uh, Dustin Marks Lillard, and we also have um, Leighton Vander Ash. Now Leighton Vander Ash, he's injury prone, so I'm, I'm a little nervous about that. But I think Jay, uh, Justin Marks Lillard, he's got more experience. I think I'd start him. Hey, Cowboy X Factor, how you doing? Now we... Uh, week four, we go to Seattle. Seattle is just broken down. Seattle is just gone to crap, you know. Sorry about the Cavs. I don't want to talk about it. I don't. I'm, I'm sad. I'm sad. I like the Cavs for those who, who don't know. And they lost. <laughs> Congratulations, Golden State. You did good. You should do a game. Uh, I'm actually going to be going to a believe the Cowboys Saints game I feel bad for you but time to talk about the Cowboys yep uh, we go to the Lions the Lions are basically terrible not very good sorry they have a good running back though but I still have us winning so we're four and0 at the Texans this is gonna be the game of the year I, th I think I think we're gonna lose um, it's gonna be a hard game. I'm going to just say that. It's a, it's going to be a really hard game. You know, we got J.J. Watt. Uh, their their defensive line is really good. If they if J.J. Watt and their quarterback, Deshaun Watson, can stay healthy. Uh, the Jags, that's a win. It's at Dallas. Uh, I don't think we're going to... It's either the Jags or the Texans we're going to lose. Uh, we're winning one of those games and losing the other. Uh, I'll just have it at the J.J. Watt. will get injured most likely. He's injury prone, but he's great. He's a monster. But, you know, I, I have us winning the Jags at Washington. Really? Really? Jags game won't be easy for their defense. They get. That's true, but I think constantly running the ball uh, will wear it down, and they ain't got nothing for an offense. They got rid of their second-best receiver, Allen Hearns, maybe their best. So they really ain't got nothing. You know, Blake Bortles, Mr. Pick, six man. Not very good. Washington is a, uh, basically a win. Uh, I don't think... Oh, uh, what's the news on Jay, uh, Justin? Uh, he's been running with the... Uh, you, sh you should play Madden 18 right now. Right now? Uh, um, it's at my house. I'm currently 
at my studio. But uh, I'll play Madden 18. I'll do that. I'll do a live stream for that. I promise you guys that I'll do that. I'll do a live stream of Madden 18 uh, for you guys. But uh, the news on Justin Martillard, he had he had a day run. Yeah, yeah. So I'll do that for you guys. Uh, DCT, not much news for the Cowboys. Uh, except for, uh, Justin Martillard, but minicamp is next, yep, uh, he had himself, it says, he had himself a day running with first team defense, you know, because, um, Leighton Van Der Esch got injured, it says, he recorded, or, he recovered a Dak Prescott fumble in the red zone and broke up a goal line pass to get a big stop for the defense, Give us Madden 19 news. I will when it comes out. I'm not sure if there has been any or if there is any right now, but I got you. I'll give out some Madden 19 news. Um, it comes out August 19th, I believe, too, so go get it. Uh, then we have a bye week. Uh, so currently we are 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1. No, 5 and 1. 5 and 1. NBA 2K19? No. Nah. I probably won't get it. I'll probably get 17, <laughs> mainly because, like, I don't want to spend a lot of money on 2K. Um, but our bye week is a pretty good bye week. Week 8 is a good bye week, I'd say. Uh, then we have the Titans at home. I don't... They're, they're gonna... They're... No. No. Titans. They're lucky that they even made it past the... the uh, whoever they put... Bills, I believe. Or the Chiefs. The Chiefs. They're lucky they made it past them. I don't think they should have won. But they got rid of DeMarco Murray. I don't think the Chiefs are. I mean, the Titans are very good. That's a win. It's at Philly. That's an L. Uh, sorry about that. At Atlanta is an L, too. Sorry about that. Then, Washington. Thanksgiving, that's a win, I, I think. Saints, that's a win. Eagles. Ooh, that's at home. That's a win because we're going to try and fight back at the Colts. I think they're going to be the worst team in pro football this year. I'm sorry, Colts fans. Uh, Andrew Luck's going to get injured again. You know, you're just not there yet. The Bucks. that's a win I see because I don't think the Bucks are very good. Uh, they did add some good players, though. And then you got at New York, last game of the season, what were uh, – 12 and, uh, 12 and 3, nah, just, no, nah, no, nah, let's just, no. Nah. We don't even need to play that game very hard. 12 and 4. That's what I have, um, but that could all swing. I could see us going 13 and 3. I could see us going 11 and 5. Uh, I could see us going 10 and 6. I probably don't see that, but that's just what I see. Um, I, I very well could see us going 13 and 3. Uh, because that last New York Giants game. Uh, I think Falcons is when we have we have to win there at some point. True. Uh, I just ah uh, man. Then we could lose. I could see. I could see us w uh, losing to the Panthers, uh, Texans, the Jags, Philly once, and that's about it. Uh, if the Cowboys play soft on Week 17, we will lose in the playoffs. That's true, because look at what happened when we did that versus Philly in 2016. It wasn't very good. It took us a while to get into the swing of things, you know, and I don't like I don't like that because it took us it took us till the fourth quarter to really get into the swing of things. But in the third, we were starting to step up, but in the fourth is really when we got going, you know. I guess um, I think Tyrant Crawford should get cut. I mean, I could. They dropped the Madden 19 trailer. Oh, I got to go check that out. I got to go check that out. I can't wait. It's going to be a, definitely a good game. But, um, you know, uh, Tyrone Crawford, you know, he takes up too much money, really, for what production he's given us. But... I think he uh, Taco is better, and then we got Randy Gregory. Also, I have no clue what's happening with him. I can't wait till the Dallas Cowboys sign. Hey man, let's go! Thoughts on OTAs? Uh, 
I think they're going pretty good. So far, nothing's nothing bad has happened to the Cowboys. Let's let's knock knock on wood. There we go. <laughs> uh, but you know, nothing bad's happened. I th I think that OTAs are going pretty good. No one's not looking good for Zach Martin. S Come on, just sign him. He's got to prove himself. He's already proven himself. Oh my gosh! Can we just sign Zach Martin, please? Please, you know what? At the end of the off season, I'm gonna do reaction to the season, to the off season. Every every uh, once each week, can we sign Zach Martin already? Can we sign Zach Martin? You know, because like uh, Ben here and your boy J March has been busting his ass in OTA. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping that I'm hope. Hey. What I read, it says he's going to make the 53-man roster. So, oh, wow. Cool. Um, I love him a lot. You know, he's he's really nice. He's really caring, too. He took time, you know, a couple of days just to talk, to talk to me. Look how small I am. I don't even have 100 subs. And, you know, he's just a really nice guy. That's really all I have to say about him. Uh, he's really nice and caring. And he's gonna he's gonna make a big plays this off season. Uh, why won't we beat the Falcons? I don't know. I just I don't see us. We I think we'll just have a bad game or something. Uh, it's really hard though to say what we're gonna do because of well, Chris Richard. You know, I want to say we're gonna go sixteen and oh, but like that's no, that ain't gonna happen. That's really not going to happen. I'm going to just say we're going to lose to the Falcons because we had a bad game, and that way I'm on the safe side. But I just, I could see us going to this. Uh, do what if Cowboys win Super Bowl 53? If we make it to the Super Bowl, I'm going to be here living the game. And if we win, you're going to see my face bright pink, tears rolling down my eyes, and me screaming, running around. That's what. That's what's gonna happen, because that's what I think is <laughs> gonna be amazing if we win. I don't think we're gonna make it quite to the Super Bowl quite yet. I can see the NFC Championship game. I could kind of see us making the Super Bowl if luck goes our way. I I got. I have a good feeling for the Super Bowl. Well, I hope you do. I hope you are exactly right with that because. You know, um, I got 10-6, man. This team is going to be silly surprising. There is a lot of unknowns, that, and that's a great thing. Right. You know, we also have Tavon Austin, who uh, Stephen Jones, I believe, said that uh, he's been taking snaps as a running back and receiver, and he's been spending time in the running back and receiver room. You know, you got that. You're... He, he's really good. He's a great punt and kick returner. He's a great uh, threat there, speed threat. I, I like Tavon Austin. I think he was a great addition. That's really secret weapon. Yep, that's exactly what he is, too. He's a secret weapon. Uh, you got him. You got Alan Hearns, Cole Beasley, Michael Gallup, all these guys in the receiving core that we don't really know, but we think they're going to be good. And then you got the probably the best O-line in pro football has returned. You know, you got uh, Lyle Collins and you got uh, Tyron Smith. You got, let's see, Lyle Collins. Well, he was great his rookie year and I think he's got, he was better, he was good this year for a different position and I think he's going to be better next year. You got Alan, uh, you got Tyron Smith. He's already great. Zach Martin. He's already great. Uh, Cameron, uh, Cameron Fleming to help. He's fairly good. You got, uh, Travis, uh, Travis Frederick, Zach Martin. You got all these guys that are, have already proven themselves. You got Zach Martin, Travis Frederick, and Tyron Smith have already proven themselves. They're pretty good. You got Lyle Collins, who's pretty good, we think. Uh, if he stays at one position, you know, he'd be pretty good. Connor Williams, well, he looks like a monster, so... You know, did the Rams use Austin Wright? No, nope. I don't think they did. Uh, I think he did. 
I think he tried, but I don't think they used him correctly. Uh, I also don't think the Rams were good enough with him. Like, they didn't use him to the best of his ability. That's just what I think. Who did Alan Hearns play for? Uh, the Jaguars. Jaguars. And I think that's a reason that they are not going to be as good next year, the Jaguars, because, you know, what up, uh, Cowboy X Factor? Yeah, Cowboy X Factor, he has been pretty active on Instagram, you know. I'm all hoping, I'm hoping, though, that he comes back onto YouTube, you know. Not the same without him. Uh, just, you know, there's stuff going on, but, you know, just pray that he comes back, you know, because we're missing him. Uh, you got... You got all the YouTubers that... One of my friends said that all the Cowboys YouTubers all know each other. That's... The more I think about it, it's true. You got me, who I know of Mark Holmes, E2 Blue, uh, all these guys. And they've all heard of me. I've heard of them. We talk sometimes, you know? So <laughs> it's kind of crazy how just things get around. Uh, yeah, the Rams for being passing. The Rams are going down production. I could see that. I really could. But I could also see their... I could see their defense doing better and their offense doing worse. That's what I could see. Because uh, their offense taught really... Oh my god, MVP. He's had one good season. He's not... He's not... He's in his third year, I believe. One good season. And no. Uh, they don't have... They have maybe one or two good receivers. I don't think they have a great tight end. Jared Goff. One good season. And he's already, like, top 10 quarterback. No. But their defense. Their defense, they got a good defensive line. And an okay secondary. The only thing, my concern is, well, is that team gonna fight apart not get chemistry kind of like what seattle did i don't know i could see the rams doing all kinds of s s things this season i could see them going down i could see their defense doing great but their offense tanking <clears throat> but the only thing is i think dallas is gonna do good this season i could see 12 and i could see i could see anywhere from 11 and 5 to 13 and 3 i don't see us going any worse than that if we do we ain't going worse than 10, 10 and 6 i'll tell you that we ain't going no 9 and 7 i could see us i don't see us going 14 and 2 i really don't that would be really hard but you know what we could anything's possible it's football um i think we're going to do better though than last year i think we're going to make the playoffs i think we're going to make some noise uh the espn bleacher report uh rankings are Straight trash. It seems funny business how CQ... Right. You know, Kirk Cousins. Well, I don't, I don't see him being that good. But then you got um, Alex Smith, who did pretty great this season. And he's way below Kirk Cousins. What? Then you got Dak Prescott, 15th. I don't think... No. And then you got uh, Jimmy G at, what, 7th? Oh, wait. He's played 7 games. He's only played seven games in his whole career. Granted, he's won all of them, but like five of them or four of them were at the end of the season where they didn't matter because they weren't doing anything and teams were just like, ah, doesn't matter. And two, a couple of them were on the Patriots. So Mariota 11th. How? No, 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 I hate, no. I think some quarterbacks should be higher and some should be lower. I think Dak, I know Dak and Alex Smith should definitely be higher. Um, I think, I know, um, no, Carson Wentz should be lower, I think. Uh, the Jags will shorten their for Nat Carey if they keep using him for 85. Yeah. I think if they keep using him, you know. Dude is prom queen voted. What? Oh, boy. Do you think Zeke is going to be the top one? Yeah. Yep. Zeke is already best running back pro football. I mean, come on and debate me if you want. 
about that, but I got the numbers. He missed six games, and he was 10th in the league in rushing. Uh, his rookie season, he was first. Nah, so that's not just, you know, one good season. That's two good seasons and missing six games. The rankings are prom queen. Vones. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Popularity contest. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much, you know. Um, Alex had Kelsey and Tyreek and still lost in the playoffs. I think they should have won that game. You know, just me, though. I mean, they probably could have, but, you know. Yeah, and they still lost, which is the sad thing. It should have been a blowout. It really should have. But, you know, it wasn't. And that's how it was. That's how it played out. I think they're going to... The, uh, Alex will do bad this year. Yeah, he will. He's on the red skin, The dead skins. He ain't going to do as good as he did last year. I'll tell you that for sure. Well, guys, it's been a great time. I've been on here for 32, 31 minutes. Uh, I love doing this for you guys. I love coming on, talking to everybody. Uh, I'll do this again tomorrow night, you know, because this was really fun. I ranked Dak Prescott 15. Yeah, I can see that. Um, but, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Um, I'll talk to you guys then.